God, not again. Ah! Look, woman, if anything happens to that baby, you will see what I will do to you. I will sue you and sue your hospital. You will see. My dear, my dear, what's the problem? Oh. What is it again? Oh, God. My family members sued, but I pleaded that we, we settle everything out of court. My dear sister, do you know what made our own matter worrisome? We got married as Christians 25 years ago. Yes, but my husband in his quest for wealth and prominence decided to mingle with unbelievers. And he backslided. I wanted to seek for divorce. But my disciples, I mean my, my spiritual parents, advised I don't. They insisted I separate from him for a while so that we could pray and you know wait on God to have mercy. I actually stayed in the house. Dr. Bright, please, ma, you may need to excuse my sister immediately. I, I, I received an urgent call now that our younger brother, John, has just been rushed to nourish us with an emergency. What? How? What happened to him? Sister, I, I just spoke, I spoke with him yesterday. Sister, when we get to the hospital, we will know what actually happened. Please, let's go. Please take it easy, man. Everything will be fine. Oh my God. <laughs> Sister, please stop. I'll be getting down here. Why? <laughs> hey, but this is not Norwich Hospital. Yes. I have to tell you that white line in order to deliver you from that the, the end of that uh, spirit coco doctor. Because I don't want her to bewitch you with her religious fanatism and extremism. 
What? Sharon! You mean nothing was wrong with John? My God. When are you going to stop all this, your, I mean, your, 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 your rascal lifestyles? When? Bo, you had better be praying that nothing happens to John. Otherwise, I'm going to show you Pepe. Come on, come down from my car. Auntie, don't you normally watch the monthly uh, program on gender-based uh, violence that she normally participates in? Her ideas are, are, are just too crazy and different from others. I don't understand. How will she be saying that women should lose their identity for men? Do you want to be enslaved by a man? same thing she has always done with her patients. Well, if not for the fact that she is a very intelligent doctor, I wouldn't have introduced you to her in the first place. But at least she's treating you well, so we have no regret about that. We just ensure that we are we are careful with her. That's all. Okay, that's all right. So I think I can get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> my baby, that's my sister. Ah! Come on. That's good. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Oh, I'm so proud of you. I wish dad and mom are here to see how I'm making them proud. How I'm making their names go all over the world. Oh. Well, Kenny, I've always told you that mom and dad are gone and gone forever. They are actually facing God's judgment on how they live their lives here on earth. And that's what I've always told you. Considering giving your life to I Jesus. Ah, ah. Taiwo, I have told you to stop boring me with this your born again. I beg, stop boring me with all this your preaching tales. Okay? <sighs> ah. Ah. I don't have to give my life to Christ. Guys, or be in bondage of do this do that before i become an achiever just like you can see yourself ah, sometimes you embarrass me I, I i feel embarrassed that you're my twin brother all because of this your a cake belief who does that in this jersey i beg be smart be smart what is all this please i need to be in the library see you later Kenny baby! Oh. Kenny baby! Huh. What's up? I did. Hey! Kenny baby! The most intelligent, famous, and powerful student of our age. <laughs> Everyone has heard about your award. In fact, it's the most trending news all over now. And you know, this is my sister here on this campus. Yeah. I don't want to feel this to carry over and be asked to withdraw from this campus. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, Kenny, I'm ready to pay any amount to learn from you. It looks as if you are getting more serious. Um, there's no problem, but mm, you have to pay for this. I'm ready to pay any amount. I want to learn from you, Ken. And I'm ready to pay any amount for you to be giving me tutorials, you know. Yeah. It's okay, but um, you need to pay good for it. You don't have problem. It, 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 it just be twice in a week and, you know, so I will give you 50 key. Parkos. Excuse me. Uh, oh. What do you take me? Can you now? Mm -mm. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, wait. Ah, uh -uh. okay. Two hundred key. Two hundred key. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm hmm Okay. And you know, so I'll give you two hundred key now. Then give you the remaining balance after the As exam. In now, now. Why not? Give me your account details. Okay. Oh. Zero zero. Come. Wait. Okay. Zero zero. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kenny. <laughs> Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Uh huh. Six, four, five. Six, four, five. All right. Your bank. GT. GT. Okay. All right. Check. Can you get the alert? 
right. Okay, so you know what? As in, you, Can we start you now? look serious. Can we start now? No. Ah, please. I need to go and freshen up. Um, okay, just give me like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Uh, we will meet at the computer complex. Please. Kenny, baby. Uh huh. <laughs> Chiova. Baba, 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 I have seen the girl. I have seen the girl that I can use. Farah Burukubale. Ah, uh -uh. is it the crave for instant money that has entered into your mannerism? That you cannot even have single cause. You cannot say good money or. I'm sorry, Baba. Forgive me, please, Baba. Eh, it is the one week ultimatum that you gave me that is making me behave this way. I'm sorry, Baba. Hey, Baba, look. See, look at this girl. Hey, this girl. Hey, hey. Hey, this girl that is being awarded hey. the best undergraduate student hey. in Nigeria Southwest University. Uh -huh. Hey, he's still a virgin. Hey, look at the on online news that captured her while receiving an award from the vice president. Hey. How did you know that? She's still a virgin. How sure are you? Baba, uh -uh. I am 100% sure. In mm -hmm. fact, she's waiting for me somewhere. I only took an excuse to come and give you the news. Hey. So what should I do? In that case, go and bring her. Yeah. Um, to back your go and bring her. Go and bring her. I'll be waiting for you. Baba o, mm. Baba o, I'm coming now, Baba. <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Yes, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. Daddy, thank you so much, sir. Hey, Daddy, someone just called me now that they saw her around a big reservoir tank on, yes, sir, on, on Goodness Estate Road. Yes, sir. That's, that's Estate, sir. <sighs> Daddy, I must confess, sir, I'm confused. 
I don't like how that is happening again, that the I'm seriously confused. Don't worry. Don't worry, Tai. Um, the Lord is going to fight this battle for us. And we shall have our peace. I and the policeman in charge of the case will get to the area now. You can join us there. <sighs> but sir, are you sure we are going to meet her by the time we, got, we are getting to that area? Because, sir, I, I've been running around like this for over a week. I've not been able to see my twin sister. <sighs> Stop complaining. Take action now. And I will be there. Let's, let, let's meet there, please. Please. Okay, okay sir. Thank you, sir. O okay, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, yes, sir. <laughs>
<laughs> so now you get all this place like this. Oh, no, no, no. This whole yeah. hotel I own. I go. Ha! I go. Bro! <laughs> oh my guy! Come on, show. I'll see if you do anything to get this money. Now you get this whole place like this. What other than two rooms? Oh, this one has small. Oh, one. Oh, oh. I can't go through. What did you do for Lekki? You get property for Lekki? Ah! You funny. This guy see, I beg, I beg, I feel do anything to make this money. Oh my God, Show pray, me just the pray, 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 pray. Pray. See, my mama just they give me peanuts, they send to me. Not, you know they do anything for school. I need this money. I won't, I won't make this wealth where you get. I beg, I beg. Go show me the way now. I beg, I beg. You just say you ready. Oh my, I ready. Enough. I ready. Enough. I ready. Okay, enough, enough. Since you don't talk so now. Mm -hmm. I know we'll do something else. Oh my G, my G, my G, my G, my G. My G. Kai, I love you, man. No. Ma, can you do it? Ah, okay, so cool. Oh, come on, 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 so cool. Well, no, 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 no. Ah, thank you, sir. Only Baba and Papa are there. But for you to succeed in this Yahoo business, the oracles gave you two options. You either sacrifice your mother, or you will be eating your sugar and your excreta every first day of the month. And we have Jala Yahoo. You will become the talk of the town. And for good five years, you will be talk of the town. Then you will go and join your ancestors. <laughs> that is the option for you. Ah, Baba, Baba, we tell you, we don't tell Bob Jones at this one now. Ah, ah, I would like to sacrifice my mom or, or die within five years. Ah, Baba, I don't like all these options, Jerry. See, my friend now, Felix. Eh? All he had to do was just to, was just to sleep with the first guy with him. And, and, and she will run mad. See, now he's enjoying all this money. Baba, why is my own like this now? Nah, I don't, don't like this. Do you know where you are? So you did not tell him? Ah! You did not query the horror. Well, eh? You want me to complicate your issue? Yeah. Well, Baba, yeah, be sorry. careful. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, choose. Let me know. Yeah. Oh yeah, Baba, I've thought about it. Eh? Uh -huh. yeah, eh? Can't you hear me beg the gods? Eh? They should use my father. Eh? He won't know Baba me. <laughs> Is he responsible? I don't need him. <laughs> Let me beg them now. Eh? It's now. My dear Mogu, don't be there first. So you think Oracle, they don't know what they are doing? They are both irresponsible. See, let me show you something. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Baba, tell me what you are doing. Look at this. Look deep inside. <laughs> ah ah. Tell me, baby. Ah ah. Honestly, honestly. You are the greatest and the best thing to have ever happened to me in life. 
Listen, your gentleness, calmness, even, even in the time of troubles and challenges, always make me desire to be around you all the time. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, I, I love you too. You know, I love you too. <laughs> eh? Okay. I, I, I definitely, I can make myself available. Come on, give my phone. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. Big Ben. Open this door. Give me my phone. Listen. Tell me what you call yourself. If you don't leave my husband alone, you will die. You will die in Jesus' name. Listen to me. I just heard of uh, uh, the story of a lady who snatched another person's husband. Bim -bim. How she died and is still dead within, within 24 hours. In the name of Jesus Christ that I'm serving, you will die. You will die in the name of Jesus. If you don't leave my husband alone, you will die. Oh, Shoma, idiot. If you like yourself, open this door. I'm my to Open to me. Stupid girl, Hello? Hello? Is it that I don't fight? Is it that I don't fight? Eh? Oh, God! Oh. 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 Eh? Both of them are irresponsible. Baba, well, it, was my, it was my father that caused it. Eh? He's been cheating on my mother for years. Oh. He's not your father. Let me tell you one thing. It was because your mother doesn't have good character. No man on earth, no man can resist a woman of good character. It was because your mother doesn't have good character. Are you ready for what you came for? You better choose one. Or else. <laughs> Mama. Baba, I want to use my papa now. Use my papa. I don't need them. I beg. Use my papa now. So you want to choose for your house? <laughs> no. uh, you better choose now. Or else. Baba, hello, hey. Baba, me. Hello. Idiot. Useless man. Useless man. Stupid and irresponsible man. Every man I know, you know, takes good care of their home. But some do not know how to do this. And nice everywhere, so that everybody will think you are you're a nice man. Meanwhile, your family members are suffering. Eh? You just love spending money on outsiders. Eh? Spending money on strange women, ugly, serekode women. Idiots. What you know how to do? You to carry local women around. I don't, they are not even as fine as I am. Idiots. Irresponsible man. Irresponsible man. Oh no, she. Irresponsible. Are irresponsible. It's your father and your mother that are irresponsible. Foolish woman. Pastor was preaching in church two weeks ago. He said, he said, any man that does not take care of their home, they are worse than, they are worse than infidel. You are worse than infidel. You are worse than an infidel. Irresponsible man. Irresponsible man.
Stop, 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 stop. So the conclusion of today's discussion on gender-based violence is that it is men who have lost their self-esteem who often beat their wives or fight over issues that could have been sorted with a gentleman's dialogue. So what should a woman going through these do? Should she leave the man or she should exercise faith for the man's change of behavior? There's no such thing as exercise and faith, especially when the person you're dealing with is the devil himself. I don't understand this issue of faith. Because everyone that's married, they marry because of what he or she saw. I mean, followed his or her heart. And if there are consequences as a result of such decision, then the person needs to take responsibility. It is a decision to make, whether to walk away from the marriage, or stay period some men are actually worse than infidels the way the bible puts it they don't provide for their homes yet they cheat on their wives these same wives are the breadwinners of the homes yet the worst losers if english permits us to use the word that way and it's happening in most homes right now i think it's high time we actually talked about house husbands where the woman calls the shots if the marriage is to go on, actually. Otherwise, she should take a walk out of the marriage. Oh, oh wow. If you would agree with me, you would, uh, would agree that... Uh, I think Vicky is making a lot of sense here. Who says we cannot have house husbands <laughs> instead of housewives? <laughs> um, Dr. Fumi, you have something to say? If God is the creator of man and woman, and also the institution called marriage, says it doesn't like divorce. So why should we as creatures encourage what the creator doesn't like? We're talking about human beings dying here. Human beings like you, dying in the name of marriage. Uh, 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 Vicky, uh, Dr. Fumi Bright has the floor here. Mm, Fumi, you may go on. Thank you. You see, the major problem of marriage is not just the issue of man and woman. But that of value misplacement and character deficiency. We see it everywhere apart from the home. We see it in the schools, we see it in marketplace, in the office, even in our neighborhood. So limiting character deficiency to husband and wife relationship is like you treating a minute portion <laughs> of a big lump. Character is a virtue, and if you don't have it, you don't have it. Values are the impetus on which character is built. When you build your character on wrong values, you will simply build wrong character. Some pick the values um, on which their character is based from friends, some from parents, some from social media, and while others pick it from God. I would like to say, where you pick your values says a lot about the quality of your character. Hmm. Wow. Uh, 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 this is becoming very interesting and enlightening. So you are clearly saying that um, it's not just about labeling man or woman with bad traits, it's about their character. Yes. Their character is what characterizes them. You see, this is determined by the values on which their character have been built over the years. So, it means that um, a man or a woman can be bad based on their values. 
So if the values are wrong, the characters will be deficient. Yes. Mm. Mm. Ah. I'm beginning to have a clearer understanding on this issue. But if that's the case, why do we still have homes that are built on God's values having problems with the husbands and wives? One thing is to have good values. Another thing is to make conscientious efforts to build the character that reflects such values. Well, thank you very much. I, I, I think we've had a lot to learn. Mm. you know on this show today thank you for coming vicky thank you edna and okay. thank you dr fumi bright You're for welcome. that amazing you know insightful contribution and to our viewers thank you very much for joining us on this show you have heard so much about character and values so it's not just about liberating man or woman with bad traits but it's about your values that determines your character till we see you next time bye for now bye. Ah, uh, how are you, Kenneth? Ah, Kenneth, you are home. I hope there's no problem. I hope you have not come to collect money. It's because I don't have any fatten. Mommy, my exams are already here. And I don't have money to pay my fees. I've not paid them yet. If I don't pay within the next two days, I won't be able to write my exams. Which, which fee? How about the money I paid for this semester? Eh? Yeah, I use it for final year project. 700,000 naira for projects? For projects? You think I didn't go to school? You think I didn't go to university? You use 700,000 naira for projects? See, you and your father will go and sort how you will get your school fees back. As for me, I am done. I have tried my best. See, you have graduated. You think I didn't hear of how you've been living big, living like a big boy in school, eh? Like father, like son. Ever since I saw the way you were building your character on your father's values, I knew you would never succeed. Please get out of my sight. Like father, like son. Rubbish. Someone is not responsible. Ah. See she's talking to her only son. But she has actually tried for me. Right? Well, my mom has really tried for me. She has really tried for me. She's she's been the one paying my school fees all these days. Anytime I I ask her for for pocket money, she always gives it to me. Pays within the next two days. If she gives me money within the next two days, I will not use her. I won't use her. But if she doesn't pay within the next two days, then I have no choice. You say you won't do it. I won't come out. You want to back out. You must be joking. <laughs> you want to back out? Did it time warn you before I take you to Baba? Oh more, this thing you the yeah, be like see, you don't the you don't you don't the price coffee. Ah! See, my two two of my friends will try this thing with Baba. Eh? Oh boy, na trailer, na trailer, iron in head for express. Don't you see how they talk? I they pity you. I they pity you. Oh more, it be like say your time don't reach. Omo oh, Felix, which kind, which kind of problem be? Which which kind of problem you don't put me to now? Which kind of problem be this? I won't take do this one. I just I won't do it again. You see, I won't see. do it again. <laughs> like this. Oh, see, listen to me and listen carefully. The best advice I will give you now, you see, go meet Baba now, now. You better no collect any money from that woman. <laughs> Leave the poor woman alone. Go meet Baba straight ahead. No, no Felix, you guys find a way for and see I'll not do again. No people, I'll not do. I know I'll not do. Okay. Ah. Okay.
internet, oh, you know, serious. You they make, you they, you they form a. You are, you got to be a man. Yeah. Be a man. Yeah. Be a man. This, this, this thing serious. Yeah. suspect the injections given to her with those who are so powerful and still keeping her sleeping. And um, um, Daddy, I must say a very big thank you, sir, to you and Auntie for all your efforts thus far in helping to trace back my sister and bringing my twin sister to your house, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Because sincerely, sir, I must, I must confess, Daddy, that since we lost our parents about four years ago on their way to our matriculation, we've actually suffered so much from family neglect and we, 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 we have to just find our way through school, sponsoring ourselves and I've tried hard to get my twin sister giving her life to Christ. But she said she wants to face her studies and she doesn't want to be distracted with religious and social um, activities. <sighs> but sir, uh, but now she's mad! <laughs> I see it! Uh, sir, she's mad! Oh, oh God. Oh, oh sir. A young lady with a bright future. She is mad. Oh. No, Taiwo. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I have told you not to ever say that again. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, sir. The future and the dream of your sister is not destroyed, sir. You see, sir. there is nothing impossible for God. That is the slogan of a true believer. Sir, my wife and I have decided to take up the case of your sister until she's fully restored. Thank you, yes. sir. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much, sir. Thank it's you, right. sir. It's Thank you, sir. I believe the Lord, sir. I believe yes. the Lord. Yes. So what? 
Mommy, wake up. You're not even happy that you have a man over your head. You don't know that there are several women out there that are looking, looking for a man that will take care of them. Nonsense. Idiots. If I with this one, you are born. I will teach you a lesson you will never forget in your life by making sure I marry another woman. Mommy! Mommy, wake up, please! Mommy! Mommy! Daddy, she's not breathing! Mommy! Mommy, wake up! Daddy, she's not breathing! Mommy! Mommy, please! Mommy, mommy, please, wake up! Mommy, please, mommy, please, wake up! She's not breathing! Mommy, please! Daddy, she's not breathing! Please come! Mommy, please wake Leave up! Leave her alone! When she's done with her drama, she will stand up! She's not breathing! Daddy! You know she's hypertensive! She's not breathing! Please come! Please! Mommy, please! Mommy, please wake up! Mommy, please! Mommy, please! Mommy, please! That's not possible now. Mommy, please wake up! Please, please, please. Mommy, please wake up! 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 Mommy, please wake Bibi! Guy, 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 my mother is dead, bro. My mother is dead. What? You mean your mom that you're supposed to use is dead? Ah. Mother is dead, guy. What do I do now? What do I do? Mom, then you are in real trouble. That one I go be, big go be. Ha! She better tell you me you go meet Baba yesterday. Oh my gosh, she forget all this kind of talk. Forget this talk. What do we go do like this? Don't tell me now. Tell me what do we go do, I beg. Let's meet in Baba's place right now. I mean right now. And I go meet you. I go meet you. Contend no Lord with those who contend with us. And fight against those who fight against us. Let us raise up our voice and cry to God and say, Lord, we beg you to begin to contain every life, every person, every spirit that is contending with the life of Kenny. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to contain with such a spirit. Come on, pray to God. Lord, oh, Jesus, Lord, we cry unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Every spirit, every power that is contending, that is contending with the life of God in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus God, no conspiracy, conspiracy. Because the Lord God is not there. We are going to cry to God. Every conspiracy upon the life of Ken. Whatever it is. That we have done. Yes. Lord, we bless you today. Let us stand against us and we bless you. Mr. Mofala, my turn now, yeah. Ah, what is the essence of wealth without, without long life? Eh? Mr. Mofala, problem is this one? Guy, Mr. Mofala, problem, my turn. Oh, oh, guy. Can you
Baba, ba eh. I beg you. Felix! Oh, my God. Lord. Ah, keep it Felix! Keep it Felix! Keep it now is that you have given your life to Christ. You have received Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. That is what is important. You have received Jesus. Let's move on. Let's move on. But why do I need to go through this horrible experience before I give my life to Christ? Why? Why? I love you. Okay. Okay. Yes, I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, we will leave immediately. We will leave immediately. We will leave immediately. Okay. My dear said um, we should bring uh, Kenny to our hospital for compressive medical checkup. So Kenny, you need to go to the hospital so that you can check him out. And see and be sure that everything is fit. Okay? okay.
How did I get myself into all this mess? How did I get myself into all this trouble? How do I find the herbalist that healed Kenny? Where do I, where do I even go from here? Kenny, you're a smart guy, you're a smart guy. How did you allow Felix to push into this Abalis nonsense? Eh? Ah. This small business where they do, where they make money from, why did I intend for these things? What if what Papa said is true? What if I die tomorrow? Hello, Ma. Hello, Kenneth. Where have you been all day? Huh? You and your dad, you brought your mom to the hospital since morning and you both disappeared. What kind of a son are you? Are you normal at all? You mean my dad has also left the hospital? Okay, okay, I will join you, Ma. I will join you, Ma. You better be coming. <laughs> Kenny. Kenny. Taye. Is that not Kenny? Yes. Taye. So you mean Kenny has been healed from my insanity? Yes, the Lord healed her about one hour ago when we were praying for her. And Prof's wife, who is a medical doctor, insisted we should bring her for a medical checkup. Huh? So, 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 you mean all these uh, fellowship things you people do on campus is real? Yes, it's real. It's real. So, sir, sir, what else, sir? Um, I, I, I'm sorry I didn't greet you, sir. No problem. There is nothing as real as Jesus. Jesus is real. Sir, 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 I'm, I'm a great sinner. Do you think God can still save me? Can he deliver me from death? I sense death all around me. In fact, my mother was brought in dead this morning. Your, your mother? <laughs> yes. You yes. mean your mommy who died this morning? Yes, she died, she died this morning. Sir, please help me. Please help me. What did the boy say his mother's name was? I didn't ask him. But I told him to wait at the reception. Oh, okay. Um, let's go and see him. Jesus! Jesus of Nazareth! Jesus of Nazareth has saved Kenny! From my insanity, please come and save me. Come and save me from the cage that Papa has put me into. Oh God, if you can save me from this, I will serve you all the days of my life. Please, <laughs> Lord. This is the young man I told you about. Uh, he's one of our students. What did you say your mother's name is? Yeah, Mrs. Grandma. Mrs. Grandma. Um, she, was, she was brought in dead um, this morning. I, I left. I had to. to, to I, had, I felt a shock, so I, I had to, to run, run away from here. But she's Miss Grandma. Mrs. Grandma? Yes, Miss Grandma. Angry? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes, 
She's alive. She was not dead. She was just unconscious. And we gave consciousness after a few hours. Congratulations, boy. Oh, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Oh, oh, you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I will still be around to collect uh, Kenji's medical report. So when you finish, you can see me inside the car for the second. Yes, yes, yes. Thank man. you so much, mommy. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Thank you so much, mommy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. okay. Link's death is, is still a rude shock to me. I mean, he died right in my presence when we, we were talking about my imminent death. <laughs> Now, now, leave Felix alone because he's dead, and there is no mercy or forgiveness after death. Let's talk about you. You mean you're ready to, 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 to release your mommy for rituals? Eh? I mean, I mean, you are ready. You wouldn't mind that your mommy dies because of flashy cars, beautiful houses, and money that do not last forever? So, so I never knew I could be boxed into that corner. I saw Felix and my other classmates. They, they had cars and they were cruising with girls all around the campus. I, I scrambled into their ideas. So now I've seen my wickedness. So, what can I do? What can I do now, sir? There is nothing you can do except <laughs> you confess your sins and never go back to those things again. <laughs> now that Baba has pronounced a death upon me, please, can I, can I sleep in your house this night? Baba said I would die by midnight, please. There is no problem about you sleeping in our house. But the issue is, whose report would you believe? Who is that man that decrees a thing that God has not decreed? Eh? How can a man pronounce death on your life that your maker has not said so? Eh? Sir, sir, please. What can I do now, sir? Please. What can I do now? Confess and forsake your sins. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready, sir. So please help. Let us pray. Auntie, you need to pack out of that house if you don't want that man to kill you. I'm sure you have heard several cases of women that were killed by their husband. But, see you, sister. I will not stand here with my lips. I will not stand here and watch one irresponsible man kill my only sister. Never. It will not happen. You need to divorce him immediately. Oh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to divorce him immediately. Yes. Please go and join Lost Grace in your job. Alright. This is Graham. You don't need to divorce your husband. All you need to do is to separate from him for a while so that we can pray. Uh, I don't want to die on time, you doctor. You cannot die. 
All you need is Christ. He is the only one that can give you patience to live with any kind of man. No matter how wicked he is. Do you remember the story I told you about my husband? Remember I told you I wanted to divorce him after I left the hospital? And my disciple told me not to. That rather than divorcing, I should be separated from him for a while. However, she reiterated that patience is needed for me to pass through my hardship in order for me to grow my character. She mean you are still living with that kind of wicked man all these years? As Christians, our trials and troubles are what God uses to give us patience. And patience, mm -hmm. when it's fully grown, it gives us endurance. And endurance develops maturity of character. And a character of this type produces a steady hope that will not disappoint God. You said your disciple insisted you must not back out of your husband's house. Who is who, who is a disciple? I mean, what do you mean by what do you mean by that? A disciple. A disciple is a follower of Christ that has gathered enough experiences and comfort from Christ that can be used to train and comfort others. I obeyed God by faith and we kept praying for my husband's salvation. A few months later, he was sacked from the university where he worked because he was caught sleeping with a student. This was the time the Holy Spirit instructed me to go back to the house. He lost his job and grew worse. It was indeed a traumatic experience for me. The Holy Spirit and my disciple kept teaching me how to show him more love mm -hmm. in spite of all his wickedness. Exactly three months of showing him so much love and affection. One night, he came in with a prostitute. Yes, the prostitute eventually threw him out of our family car and went to live with it. When he woke up exactly after one hour, he woke up and ran towards the door, looking at me amazingly. The more I moved closer to him, the more he screamed for fear. Then I started binding the evil spirit I perceived was troubling me. Then he fell down. I led him to Christ immediately. And today, madam, my husband is a professor at the State University and the general overseer at Irene's church. So I would like you to read this, ma'am. 2 Corinthians 10, 4-6. I, I use God's mighty weapons, not those made by men, to knock down the devil's strongholds. These weapons can break down proud arguments against God and every wall that can be built to keep men from finding Him. With these weapons, I can capture rebels and bring them back to God and change them into men whose heart's desire is obedience to Christ. I will use these weapons against every rebel who remains after I have first used them on you yourselves and surrender to Christ. Will you give your life to Christ for all the spirits to help with which matters? Praise God. Yes. Let us pray. Still awake? Oh. Brother, I can't sleep. I can't sleep. They say I will die this night. But you can't die. You won't 
die. Ah, I see your bank. You come and stay with me this night. <laughs> I am scared. You <laughs> tell we die. Okay. If I have to stay with you, that will make you sleep. Ah, oh, then yes, yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Good brother. Thank you. Okay. scriptures you gave me to study i have all been pointing to patience ah <sighs> patience but ma sincerely i i am getting afraid every day and you know i have this sense of fear that my husband will abandon me and go and marry that young lady ah no, my sister, the only thing that can make you lose your battle is if you don't allow God to use his weapons on you. There is no one who releases him or herself for these weapons that does not have his rebels turning to God. What, what weapons? What weapons are, we, are you talking about? The weapons of trouble and trials. <sighs> Patience and endurance refines our character and establish a proven one that releases a steady hope that never fails. <sighs> I'm going to read Romans chapter 5, verse 3 to 5 to you now, using the Philip's modern translation. Okay. Listen, this doesn't mean, of course, that we have only a hope of future joys. We can be full of joy here and now, even in our trials and troubles. Taking in the right spirit these very things will give us patient endurance. This in turn will develop a mature character and a character of this sort produces a steady hope. A hope that will never disappoint us. Already, we have some experience of the love of God flooding through our hearts by the Holy Spirit given to us. Also in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 6, in the Living Bible translation, says he will now use these weapons 
against every of our rebels. As long as people try to escape these weapons, the answers to their prayers stories. Hmm. This is why so many people don't have answers to their prayers. Ah, Lord help me. Lord, please help me to allow your weapons. Help me to submit to these weapons. Lord, please. Help me. Calm down, Mrs. Graham. Is it about Kenneth's school fees? Don't worry. The Jehovah Jireh, the provider, he will provide. Just be at peace. <sighs> Ma, hmm? can you be my disciple? Oh, yes. And the Holy Spirit prompted me already. And we have a relationship. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Ma. So just stress. Yeah, hello, mommy. <laughs> mommy, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right. I, I shared a testimony of how the uncle that we've not heard of for almost six years just called me and sent me my school fees. I shared it in, in the fellowship yesterday. Yes, yes. Come and see how people were just shouting and, and singing praises to the Lord. It was so encouraging. See, mom, we've actually been shortchanging ourselves for not serving God all these years. <laughs> yes. God, God is good. God is good, mommy. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, mommy. All right, mommy. Bye bye. <laughs> I'll call you later. Yes, mom. Thank you for being there for me, Ma. I am very grateful. Oh, no, 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 no. It's my duty. Don't forget that as your disciple, the success of your work with God is a crown for me and delight to God. How is your husband? Is he back? No, no, Ma. Oh, come off it. Ah, he will return. Don't forget the prayers I talked to you about. He will be born again by the grace of Almighty God. Just be patient and endure this moment. Okay, let me open up to James chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. Listen to this. Dear brothers and sisters, in this case, I'll put your name. Dear Mrs. Graham, when troubles of this kind or any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So, let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. So you see now, if you behave this way, how do you expect your son Kenneth to behave? Remember, you can only comfort others with the comfort you have received. And this is also in the Bible. I did formulate it. Yeah, this is in 2 Corinthians 1 4. So please just calm down and let's put all our hope in God. He will sort everything. Thank you, ma. Thank you very much. Darling, you're welcome. Hey, 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 hey. Cut off that pretense, woman. I am not here for any of your emotional drama. Listen, I, I have come to this house to let you know that... I'm uh, sorry, darling. I'm, I'm a changed woman. I'm sorry for all I've done in time past to hurt you. I have realized that I've I not been a good woman. I've not been a good wife to you. I'm now born again. I'm ready to love you and care for you. I'm ready to... <laughs> It is too late, madam. Madam, it is too late. 
it is damn too late. You know why? My heart has completely been stolen by a gentle young lady who respects me and honors me. Huh? Listen, I have only come to the house to let you know that uh, I have gone to pay a dowry and uh, the question is for you now. Which one will you prefer? Is either I bring her to come into this house to come and live with me? Or you will prefer that uh, I go out there and rent apartment for the two of us? That will be over my dead body. Ah. Yes. And in fact, it is that your dead body I want to see. You are stupid. I want to witness it. You are stupid. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Wait, wait. Just tell me. Of what value are you to me? What value have you contributed to my life ever since we got married? You tell me! What value yeah. have you contributed to your life? What? What value? What value have I not contributed? You! Because the money I've been paying! You! What my school fees of, of Kenneth? Everything! You are the infantry! Put up everything! Don't slap me! Ask me! I, I pay house rent. I do everything in the house. And you have the guts to ask me what value I've contributed to your life? What value you have you you slapped me? You slapped me? You need to do that. You said she is gentle. With Christ in me now, I, I can be more gentle. I, I promise I will, I will, I will be peaceful. Right? See, I, listen, listen. All I need from you is either a yes or a no answer. I am not ready for all these your all these your tales, these your emotional tales. I'm not interested. I'm not cut out for it tonight. Listen, let me come up with a question again. Which will you prefer? Do you want me to bring the woman to come into this house to stay with me here? Or we should rather settle for another apartment outside there? Come on, answer me, you bitch. Or I go bring the woman in now. And we make this house miserable for you. That you'll be forced to pack your things and leave this house for us. I, I will stay. I mean, you, you can bring that in hmm? and there will not be any trouble. I, I promise to give you peace. I promise to do whatever you want me to do. <laughs> Oh God, I've had enough show for the day. <laughs> um, actually, um, I wasn't thinking of bringing anyone into the house here. I was just teasing you. Yeah, you mean there is no other woman? I mean, there is no other woman. Uh, don't go there. Just don't go there. All I said is, um, I you don't expect me to bring her in here to come and meet you so that you can kill her. I can't do that. I can't. Well, anyways, um, we have concluded all our travel arrangements. Yes, we are traveling out. And that is going to be tonight. And you know what that means? It means you are not going to see me again. Can you read my lips? You won't see me forever. Ah. And that's just what I've come to tell you. So, please, you can sit back and enjoy yourself. Have a great day. Oh. Daddy, please. It's several promises from your mom that my husband is going to come back home and we live happily together as a family. He was going to become genuinely combat. You are a faithful God. You are a real God. Your words are perfect and true. Please, Lord, save my husband. <laughs> 
Don't mind that foolish woman. Don't mind her. I have settled her case. Don't mind her. I've left her with her trouble at home. At least she can enjoy herself the way she wants. As for me, it means a long time. Um, but I hope uh, you have uh, packed all the luggages and um, your bags are in order, right? Uh, it's all right. Don't worry. I will soon be with you. Um, we'll be on our way straight to the airport. <laughs> Ah, um, I'm sorry, Mr. Nicholas. Um, I know you have been the one um, paying all the bills of this um, stranger. But um, we cannot continue to have him in this hospital without further payment of his bills. We have tried all her best, I mean, to make sure that he regains his memories, uh, but all to no avail. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, Mr. Nicholas. I will advise if you don't have capacity to foot his bills any longer, just um, take him to an orphanage home or uh, take him to the house of a rich man, you know, and leave. I mean, see, I have a directive from the chief medical director that you take this man away from this hospital today. Ah, today? Yes. <sighs> Mommy. Mommy. Ah. Mommy. I'm so fine, Mommy. It's all good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, mommy. Thank you. Mommy. It's school. Yes, school is very beautiful. So, 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 something about in school today. Um, um, I developed a software, right? So um, you, yeah, yes, the last time yes. You called, you said something yes. Like um, so, so, what the app does, like, increases the operational efficiency of the university, and it also helps to disseminate information to students. Wow. I'm so happy. In fact, the vice chancellor said he wants to launch the application in the what? university. Oh, thank you, Jesus! Yes, yes, okay, yes, I'm so proud yes, of you. Yes, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Mommy, and I see the difference between serving God and serving the devil. Yes. Right, anytime I wake up, I, I get I get great insights and wisdom, you know. And and now, I, I, and now God has now given me the opportunity to be able to impact my community Hallelujah. and the university. Hallelujah! <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> so, thank you so much, ah. Mommy. Yes, I'm what? so proud of you. Yes, thank you so much. Ah, see, God has assured you yes. that you are destined for God's eyes first. Yes, this what? is the least of what God will use you to do. Yes, what? Thank you so much. Ah. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mommy. <laughs> Let me go and freshen up. <laughs> but mommy, have you have you had anything from daddy since? Yes, he traveled with that uh, young lady I told you about two months ago. I've not had anything from him. <sighs> I've been praying and begging God that God should bring him back. I know God will. God will help me. God will encounter him. But right now, you know, while I was studying before you came in, God showed me a scripture that is getting me afraid. Uh, Proverbs 11, 29. He that troubles his home or troubles his home will inherit the wind. Immediately I saw that scripture, the Holy Spirit you know, mm. struck my heart. Mm. So I mm. pray for your husband. So I mm. started praying for him. Mm. That God, he has been troubling me for some time now. Mm. Who let him inherit the wind? Mm. Who let my husband mm. inherit the wind? Mm. You know what it means to inherit the wind? You know what it means to inherit what, the wind? What does that mean? Oh. Mm. The, the, the wind is like 
you know, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's empty. Mm -hmm. So a man inheriting the win mm -hmm. or anybody inheriting the win is like inheriting nothing. Mm -hmm. In this world, mm -hmm. he will have nothing. Mm -hmm. In heaven, he will mm -hmm. have nothing. Mm -hmm. So it has been a prayer burden in my heart mm -hmm. since God showed me that scripture that God who let my husband inherit the weight. So I've been begging God that God should just show him mercy. He has really troubled me. Yes, yes, mom. Yes, he mom. has troubled me. Just we just need to keep praying, praying for him. Troubled just me. need to keep praying for him. Oops. Daddy, God bring please bring back my father. God please. Alright, all right, mommy, let me just freshen up. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I actually left out the Lagos like some three hours ago. I didn't know the road that gone was. Yes, I'll be with you in a few minutes. Oh, have you prepared the theater? I'm already at the car park. Don't worry, I'll be with you in a few minutes. The surgery is already a success in Jesus' name. See you soon. All right. Mr. Graham? You know him? I know him. Wow. Dr. and Mrs. Graham? What hey? happened to you? Praise God! Ah, he had not spoken a word for about a month since I brought him here to the hospital. Ah. Wow. Jesus, you are wonderful. I'm their family doctor. Wow. And we've been looking for you for over a month. Ah. What Thank happened you to you, Jesus. sir? What happened? What happened? Ah! Daddy! Mommy! Just put him Mrs. Graham. Um, what happened to my husband? He was involved in an accident. When? He was supposed to travel. He never made it to. There was one Mr. Nicholas that rescued him. This is his younger brother. He's now born again. Huh? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 